Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video with Swaggle Haas. And in this video, we're taking a look at GoCollect's hottest trending comics for the week of September 24th. Now, for those who don't know, GoCollect puts out weekly articles that switch between hottest comics and trending comics. This week, we got trending comics once again, which is a more curated list of books that are really starting to move a lot in the market. But before I get into the video, if you guys could drop me a like or a comment or subscribe if you're enjoying the content, it helps with the channel doing those things, I would appreciate it. But let us get into this video here today. Now, of course, I'll put a link in the description so you guys can do your own reading. This article is always written by Matt Tuck, but let's Let's get right into it. And coming in at the number five spot is a very interesting book, one that has been consistently showing up on hot lists all over the place. But this one is 8 Billion Genies, number one, new to the Go Collect list this week, sitting in the 97th slot. And what is the significance of this? Well, of course, it's the book written by Charles Soule that came out in 2022 and would feature the first issue of the image storyline called 8 Billion Genies. Now, this book right here set the comic market on fire. Everyone has been chasing this number one issue. A lot of people are chasing the incentive variants. A lot of people are chasing the store va variants and the retail variants. And this book has just been all over the place. And one of the reasons for that is that, you know, it has been announced that Amazon has optioned this story right here uh, to possibly be, you know, on their Amazon Prime streaming series at some point later on in the future. And everybody has been flocking to this thing. And I definitely have to say, when this book came out, it had option written all over it. I mean, when you hear the log line for this thing, you know, about 8 billion wishes being granted to every single person on earth. I mean, that right there is an elevator pitch if I've ever heard an elevator pitch before. I'm sure that was already part of the discussion of when they came up with the concept for this comic. They just sort of knew that some kind of uh, production company would be interested in an idea like this. And for that reason, you know how speculators are going to speculate. Everybody was jumping on this thing. Everybody's going nuts for the options. And, you know, it's a very cool uh, book for sure. And I think a lot of people have also been saying that they are very much enjoying the read right now. But, you know, like I always say on this channel with options, you got to be careful with options. I mean, just because some production company is looking to, you know, uh, put this thing on screen doesn't mean we're going to be getting this thing anytime soon. I mean, there's a lot of hoops that you still need to jump through. They got to do castings. They got to write scripts. They got to actually make the thing. They got to make the pilot and then the pilot has to be good and then the pilot has to be successful and it actually has to go on for multiple seasons. I mean, look what happened to even a show like Paper Girls, uh, which took a long time to get made and then got canceled after one season. So, you know, it's a long road ahead for this book. So definitely you got to be careful if you're speculating on this thing. But 8 Billion Genies, number one, definitely a cool read and is the number five hottest trending comic of the week. And as we dig into the numbers for this one, let's take a look at some of the values here. 9.8s have 269 on the census. I'm sure that there is going to be a lot more, you know, books being sent in for grading. Uh, last sold was 151. 30 Day Moving is 179. So this is definitely a book that has been, you know, trending upward ever since its release. I mean, pre-releases for this thing at the 9.8 grade were around the $133 range. That was just a few months back. And it definitely shot up to where kind of sits today. You know, we're seeing last couple sales at 151, 170, 158, 165. And then of course at the low grade, not going to see its lab because it just came out a couple months ago. But when you go into eBay looking for raw copies, typically you can see them being sold around that 40 to $50 range. All right, let's move on now to the fourth hottest trending comic of the week. And the fourth hottest trending comic of the week is a very cool one. One that I think has been on this list uh, some time ago, but this one of course is War of the Realms, New Agents of Atlas, number one, new to the list this week, now sitting in the 83rd slot. And what is the significance? of this. Well, of course, this is the book that came out in 2019, written by Greg Pak, that would feature the first appearance of the Agents of Atlas. Now, the Agents of Atlas, who are they? Well, they're an all-Asian, you know, Avengers superhero team put together by Jimmy Woo. Now, of course, you guys know Jimmy Woo. He's the agent that we got in Ant-Man. He was also previously in WandaVision and is played by the actor known as Randall Park. Uh, he puts together this Asian Avengers team. They go on to do, you know, Avengers superhero things. And there's been a lot of speculation uh, for quite some time that, you you know, the MCU is moving and maybe building towards some kind of Agents of Atlas team. I mean, it's hard to say if the MCU could ever really put a team like this together. I mean, when you look at the landscape of what's coming in the multiverse saga, it doesn't really feel like there's going to be a slot to do an Agents of Atlas show or an Agents of Atlas movie. Uh, that's not to say that in Secret Wars, maybe we could get a moment where there's our multiversal, you know, Asian Avengers team, and that could cause a pop for this type of book. Or we could definitely see it at some point in the future. But this this has been a popular spec book amongst a lot of collectors for quite some time. And I think because we're coming up on Ant-Man number three, and it's been confirmed that Jimmy Woo is going to make an appearance in that film, a lot of people have been looking towards those Jimmy Woo keys, if you want to call them that, and picking up this book once again. So an interesting spec and one that could pay off way, way down the line. But as we dig into the numbers for this one, let's take a look at some of the values here. 9.8s have 3,940 on the census. That is quite a lot at the 9.8 level. Fair market value is $95. 30-day moving, kind of right in line to 
at, at 93. Uh, but as you can see, this is a book that really got hot in the spec market, of course, last year. I mean, there were some sold prices at the $250 range. And then now we're seeing this book sell, you know, for under $100. So definitely had a huge rise up and then a big fall off. Uh, would be hard to see if this book could ever meet some of those numbers once again. I mean, certainly if we got them in the MCU, uh, that would definitely cause, you know, a movement in the market. But, you know, where it is right now, when you have 3,940 copies on the census, definitely going to be hard for this book to, you know, uh, eclipse those peak numbers. And then, of course, 2019 book, not going to see it slapped at the low grade. But when you go onto eBay looking for raw copies of this thing, typically you can find them being sold around that $25 price point. All right, let's go on now to the third hottest trending comic of the week. And the third hottest trending comic of the week is an all time classic. And this one, of course, is G.I. Joe, a real American hero, number one, up 18 spots, now sitting in the 82nd slot. And what is the significance of this? Well, of course, this is the book written by Larry Hama that came out in 1982 and would feature the first appearance of the G.I. Joe. Now, this is an interesting book to see on the Go Collect hot list. I feel like it's always in and out of it from time to time. Every few months, it feels like we see G.I. Joe number one showing up. And, you know, for a lot of reasons, a lot of people still feel like at some point in the future, we might get that, you know, awesome G.I. Joe cinematic universe. Uh, certainly, we got some movies that uh, were underperforming, I would say. Uh, we had the Snake Eye movie uh, recently, which definitely was disappointing to a lot of G.I. Joe fans. And it feels like G.I. Joe is a really strong property that could have a bright future ahead of it. I mean, when we're talking about spec IP and we're thinking about, okay, what could be, you know, the next MCU, it does feel like, you know, Transformers and G.I. Joe and one of these 80s franchises could really build upon themselves. I mean, it would be hard to do it for G.I. Joe because you'd, you'd have to sort of blur the lines of, you know, how realistic is it, you know, versus uh, how big they can scale it up. But looking at Top Gun Maverick and seeing how successful that movie was, it definitely feels like if you could do a G.I. Joe franchise that is sort of spirited and patriotic in the way that Top Gun Maverick was, you would definitely have a massive hit on your hands. But of course, G.I. Joe, number one, classic 80s book. A lot of people like to get this thing. And as we dig into the numbers for this one, let's take a look at some of the values here. There are a couple 9.9s on the census. Hasn't been a sale since 2017. Would love to see what those would go for today. But the 9.8s have 805 on the census. Fair market value is $1,300. 30-day moving is $1,300 as well. Definitely a book that you know has had a pullback like many other books that shot up in 2021. Uh, but currently where it sits today, you know, it's still a four-figure book, still pretty strong overall, especially since the 9.8 grades. I mean, there are, you know, a decent amount out there at 805. But when we think about the census of being 5,000 and only 800 are 9.8s, you know, not the easiest book to get in that high a grade. You can see the 9.8s are actually the top 15%. Uh, so that's, you know, a pretty good, you know, sign overall if you're someone who sort of wants to invest in a 9.8 grade. 9.6s sell around the $350 range. And then, of course, down here at the bottom, 1982 books. So not as many down there, but when you go into eBay looking for raw copies, typically you could see them being sold around that $100 range. All right, let's go on now to the second hottest trending comic of the week. And the second hottest trending comic of the week is a very cool one to talk about, one that is finally back into the trending comic sphere. But this one, of course, is Captain Carter, number one, new to the list this week, now sitting in the 78th slot. And what is the significance of this? Well, of course, this is the book that came out in 2022 that would feature the first appearance of Captain Carter. Now, this book is really interesting. It came out earlier this year, and a lot of people in the comic book market were flocking to this thing, even though some people feel like that Exiles number three is the actual first appearance of Captain Carter, although that Captain Carter wasn't necessarily the one that we feel like we got from the What If show. I'd like to know what you guys think. What do you guys think is the true first appearance of Captain Carter, at least the one that I think represents the version that we have in the MCU, whether it is the What If version or the one that we got in a cameo in Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. Is it Exiles number three that's the go-to book or is it this Captain Carter number one book? I think a lot of people like this book because there was a one in 25 variant that was very specific to the what if animation style. And a lot of people feel like for that reason, this is the book that represents the Captain Carter in the what if show. But let me know what you guys think. Regardless, this book is starting to trend up once again because we all know that we're gonna be getting a what if season two uh, very soon next year. There's been a lot of talk about, you know, some of the episodes, there's been some animation that is starting to be, you know, leaked out and shared amongst the comic book collectors. So a lot of speculators are thinking about this book once again. But as we dig into the numbers for this one, let's take a look at some of the values here. 9.8s have 950 on the census. Fair market value suggests 110. But as you can see, 30 day moving is only $56. So a book that has massively dropped off from where it was when it originally came out. You can see the pre-releases for this thing were selling around the $200 price.
price point. This was at you know the height of the 2022 comic market, right around Doctor Strange. And ever since then, I mean, it's dropped over you know half of its value down to the $56 level. I mean, we have an auction here on eBay that went for $38. I mean, for $38, at that point, you're getting the book basically at cost, uh, $38, $70, $125, $75, $56, $70. So definitely a very affordable book. I think right now, you know, you look at that floor price, that's one of the reasons why it's probably selling so much. I mean, it's such a low buy-in that, you know, why not? I mean, anytime you can get a slab of a, in theory, a first appearance of a character for under $100 at the 9.8 level, I mean, it definitely feels like a good buy. And then of course, this book came out earlier this year, so not going to see it slabbed at the low grade. But typically speaking, when you go into eBay looking for raw copies, you can now see them being sold around that $10 and $15 range. All right, let's move on now to the hottest trending comic of the week. And the hottest trending comic of the week is a very surprising one to talk about. One that I bet you didn't think was going to be the hottest trending comic of the week. But this one right here is Thor, God of Thunder, number two, up 15 slots, now sitting in the 57th slot. And what is the significance of this? Well, of course, the book that came out in 2012, written by Jason Aaron, that would feature the first appearance of Gore the God Butcher. Now, of course, Gore the God Butcher, the villain that Christian Bale played in the Thor Love and Thunder movie, Definitely, I think it's fair to say that the Thor Love and Thunder movie, generally speaking, was a disappointment to a lot of you know MCU fans as well as comic book fans. Uh, people really did not like that movie overall. And a lot of people felt like the portrayal of Gore was kind of underwhelming. I mean, it feels like Christian Bale uh, did what he could with the character, but there was some disappointment that they didn't go with the typical character design of Gore the God Butcher. There was also some disappointment that it felt like, you know, we kind of got this one and done villain and there was really, you know, nothing to his character. We didn't get the uh, butchering of the gods that we were kind of hoping to see. So a lot of people were big sellers on this book. This has been a book that really fell off hard, uh, more so than a lot of other books uh, in this current comic book market. I mean, when you rewind the clock back to 2020, when Kevin Feige originally announced that Gore the God Butcher was going to be the villain of Thor Love and Thunder, this book absolutely went bananas. It shot up tremendously in the market. But ever since that announcement, this book has never been able to kind of live up to that hype level. But now, kind of when you look at the floor prices where they are today, it definitely feels like a good buy. And if you're somebody who just likes this run, if you just enjoyed the God of Thunder run, and you're a fan of Gore the God Butcher outside of MCU spec, I mean, there's been no better time to buy this book uh, than in this current market right now, because it's basically selling for less than what it was selling for, you know, all the way back in 2020, before we even got the announcement for Gore the God Butcher. So definitely an interesting thing to see this on the trending list. And I think a lot of comic book collectors are seeing this as a good opportunity to buy back into this thing. And as we dig into the numbers for this one, let's take a look at some of the values here. 9.8s have 1,389 in the census. Fair market value is 190. 30 day moving is 170. Uh, definitely a lot cheaper than what we saw this book selling for at the height of 2021, when you can see a sold price for $753. Uh, definitely crazy. I mean, there were sales at 500, 400, 600, et cetera, et cetera. And you can see last couple sales for this thing at 147, 195 has this thing priced for lower than what it was selling for in 2020 before we even knew Gore the God Butcher was coming. So definitely a good entry point back into this book overall. Uh, that's just at the 9.8 grade. Other grades have also been hurt. The 9.6 is now selling for under $100. So very, very affordable, no matter what grade you're looking at. And then of course, you know, when you go onto eBay looking for raw copies of this thing, you can now find them being sold around that 80 to 90 to maybe $100 price point, depending on the deal, depending on the grade, which is still a lot cheaper than what the Raws were selling for previously when I usually would see them being sold around that $150 and $170 range. Anyways, that's all I have for this video. Those were GoCollect's hottest trending comics for the week. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys have any of these books? Drop me a like, comment, subscribe if you're enjoying the content, and I'll see you in the next one.